So you want to buy a home in Houston, Texas, but you're trying to figure out what this Houston housing market is up to. Well, listen, I'm Shadra Patton, and I'm going to give you the latest housing market numbers as of January the 25th for 2023 for single family homes here in the Houston area. So let's talk about what's happening in this market. There are five stats that I recommend you track if you're looking to buy in Houston. Navigate to this link on the screen or the link in the video to subscribe to get the latest stats for your specific zip code. Okay, the number one stat is the market action index. Here is the how's the market answer. This is your indicator of supply and demand because the market action index compares the current rate of sales versus inventory. As of January the 25th, the market action index is 36. Now this is unchanged from the last three weeks. An index between 35 and 44 indicates that we are in a slight seller's advantage. Check out this chart to see what the measurement has looked like throughout the year. It looks like we are going to stay where we are here for a while. All right, number two, the second key statistic that you need to be following is the median list price. The median list price for Houston as of January the 25th is $359,900. This is the same as last week, so there's no change here. The median list price is the leading indicator of home values. If this median list price is consistently increasing, then you know that the home values are increasing. If the median list price is decreasing, then so are the home values. As of January the 25th, it was $340,000. That was actually $360,000 last week, okay? So the median list price of new listings is the most recent activity of what's hitting the market in the area. Now this number typically climbs about a month before the median price of the market overall. The best inventory typically gets listed in the spring, so prices are typically going to rise at that point. Here's a chart that shows you the trends of the median list price from 2022 to now. Okay, number three. The third statistic that you want to consider is the average and the median days on the market. This is simply how long it takes the home to sell. As of January the 25th, the properties currently available have been on the market for an average of 98 days and the median days on the market is recorded at 77. This is a slight decrease from last week. Now always remember that higher priced homes in an area take longer to sell than the lower priced homes. So here's the chart that shows how this has looked from 2022 to now. This first one is the average days on the market. And the second one here is the median days on the market. Okay, so those were your first three housing statistics that you need to be familiar with if you want to buy a home here in Houston. Please subscribe to get the latest market reports automatically sent to you so that you can watch where this market is going. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the like button and the bell icon if you want to be notified about new videos about Houston's real estate market statistics. So up next, we have our fourth statistic, and that is inventory. As of January the 25th, the amount of inventory is 4,653 homes on the market. Now this is actually an increase from last week's inventory. As I mentioned last week, every year inventory hits a low and we are expecting that this January. And so we're just gonna keep on watching. The current level of inventory is still low compared to pre-pandemic levels. So check out this chart so that you can see both the seven day and the 90 day average or available inventory. This fifth statistic that you will start keeping an eye on here in Houston is properties with a price decrease. Now as of January the 25th, that figure is at 41%. Price reductions continue to fall across Houston as well as across the nation. Now will that continue throughout the spring? We'll keep watching this statistic, okay? This honestly tells you that 41% of active listings have accepted a price decrease because demand was lower than what they expected when they initially put the home on the market. Now, in a normal market, we tend to see about 30 to 35% of sellers initially overprice their homes and then they reduce the price to attract buyers because it didn't sell. So this is above average, this 41%. Now, many sellers still have a lot of equity, so they're not in a hurry to sell their homes 
for less than what they think that they are worth. So please don't come into this market expecting for sellers to reduce their price because you decide that you want to get a good deal. Everyone has a reason for selling. Most sellers are not desperate these days. So also, the longer you wait to purchase a home you love, the more that home is going to cost you. Appreciation is real. And that's why real estate is honestly the quickest path to wealth. It's better to buy and switch that house into the home that you really love by leveraging the equity that you've gained over the years than to actually rent a home for three years or more, which some of you may be doing. It happens. Anyways, um, you're gonna have zero equity from that rental, and at least if you bought a home, at least you would have some equity to trade in. Now here's the chart for properties with a price decrease. Throughout the year, this number has increased, um, and check it out. Alrighty, so now listen. Because I am selling Houston, here is your tip of the week. Do not fear today's foreclosure headlines, okay? Everyone is seeing that foreclosures are surging in today's housing market. A foreclosure crisis is not where this market is heading. According to Adam, which is a leading curator of real estate data nationwide for land and property data, Foreclosure filings are up 115% from 2021, but they are down 34% from 2019. 2019 was pre-pandemic, okay? So thanks to the forbearance program and other relief options for homeowners, foreclosure filings were down to like record low levels in 2020 and 2021. So any increase from last year is no surprise, okay? Um, because we don't have those forbearance programs anymore, right, for 2022. So while the housing market is experiencing and, ex and expecting like a rise in foreclosures, is nowhere near the crisis levels that uh, we saw when the housing bubble burst, okay? And that's not gonna lead to a crash in home prices. Now, if you want to stay up to date on this housing market, you can download my buyer's guide via the description below, or you can also just email me. My email is in the description and it's in the about tab for my channel. Again, I'm Shadria with JPAR Real Estate. Please subscribe, hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified about new videos on moving and shaking around Houston.